Hello, welcome to Aspen Barbecue. Let's make keto tots. Okay, so we need two thirds of a cup of grated cheese, sharp cheddar, one egg, half a small onion, don't need much, and then half a cup of um, Parmigiano, Reggiano, grated cheese. It needs to be that right kind. Take the cauliflower and cut away enough to create one cup of grated cauliflower. I'm gonna pulse this in my kitchen mixer thingy, in my blender, or whatever it's called, together with the onion until it gets to a sandy consistency, as you can see here. Then putting it in a colander on top of a paper, another piece of paper on top, and pressing out as much water as possible on the cauliflower. Putting that into a bowl, adding the two thirds of a cup of grated cheese and the half a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano. Starting by mixing this up, then adding an egg and mixing that in there. And that's it. Don't need to do anything more. So once it's fully incorporated, I'm putting it on a piece of cling wrap and just stretching it out. It doesn't really matter which shape you have, it's just I want it to cool quicker. So I'm wrapping this and then I'm putting it into the freezer for about 30 minutes to let it firm up a little bit. And once that's firmed up, it's time to shape the little tater tots. There we go, so it's falling apart. Doesn't matter, it's gonna stick together. So shaping them and then putting them on a small rack so that I can chill them again. I want them to be cold when I'm starting to deep fry them. Anyway, making as many as I can and into the freezer for another 30 minutes. Oil at 360 or 180 Celsius. Trying it out with one. Once they're golden brown, they're done. So I'm doing five or six in batches. And this is what they look like. Time for a taste test. There we go, some keto cauliflower tots. Let's try them. Mm. Mm. Crunchy on the outside, so smooth on the inside. Really nice taste. I'm gonna enjoy this with my meal, whatever that is. Thank you for watching, bye.